hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today i will be making a very quick and easy decorative tray using dollar tree items i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and now let's craft for this project i will be using four of these wood slats these are from the dollar tree i'm using two eight inch and two of the ten inch so I'm going to start by removing the sticker. Um, these are not old, but I had these for a while, so the sticker is like very good in there. So I am using a piece of sand sheet to just smooth out and remove the rest of the glue. For this, I am going to use wood glue, actually a combination of wood glue and hot glue. For extra support, you can add nails or staples. I decided not to. The next thing I will be doing is just letting this dry for like an hour or two. Then for the bottom, I'm using this pack of Dollar Tree wood planks. Six come in the pack, I'm using four of them. To glue these, I'm using a combination of wood glue and hot glue. You can add small little legs using like the wood beads. I decided to just leave mine like this. To paint this, I'm using the Waverly Antique Wax. I also decided not to add handles to this. You can by drilling some holes on the end and adding rope but that is it look how beautiful this decorative tray turned out Now I'm going to make some little decor to go on the decorative tray. The first thing I'm doing is using one of these Dollar Tree little houses. I'm going to paint the edge using some black paint. Dollar Tree carries so many different things that you can add to this like the rob on transfer stickers. You can use poster stickers or you can even use a Cricut. I will be using this letter that is from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the beads, glue the letter on there, and then to cover the hole, I'm adding some greenery with a bow. That is it for this little house. Look how beautiful this looks on the decorative tray.
every tray needs a planter so i'm going to make a little planter using this dollar tree jar i don't like the gold part so i am going to cover that using some black paint to make this look more rustic i'm using a piece of scent sheet and just send some of the paint off To decorate this, I will be using some jute twine and making a small little bow. For the greenery, I'm using this Walmart one. And that is it. Look how pretty and cute this little planter turned out. For my next project, I'm actually using this lid that I got from a Dollar Tree box. I have a few of these that I was like, um, what can I use this for? But this is perfect to make like a small little decor sign. I am going to paint the edges black. Now for the inside, you can paint it white. I remember I had this wallpaper that I recently got from the Dollar Tree. So I am going to just add it inside this instead of painting it and this is how it looks now i'm going to add a piece of wood inside so i can add something on there and I'm using this wood plank, which I'm going to cut in half. After I'm done cutting this, I'm going to paint it using some white chalk paint. One mistake I did is I didn't let this dry completely when I added the Dollar Tree Robin transfer. And because I didn't let it dry completely, it didn't stick or it didn't rub on rub off as you can see here i did mess it up so because i didn't have another simply best little sign so i can like put it over it and i didn't want to paint this i decided to just remove the entire thing and add this little gather sign that i also got from the dollar tree but that is it this was so quick and easy and it looks so cute on the tray that is it for today's video i really hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because i would love to know so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye